Please welcome to the stage of funny, the hilarious Miles Morrison. There we go, Calgary Yuck Yucks. I'm excited to be here, kind of. This is, uh, stand-up comedy is the only emotion people pay money to see, and then they get mad if they don't experience it, right? They're like, this better be funny. I paid 10 bucks. Nobody, nobody does that for anything else. No one's showing up at funerals like this. Better be sad. I paid 10 bucks. What? Who did you pay? What? So I suffer from anxiety attacks, which is fun when you got to talk in front of a bunch of people all the time. I've never seen that on a girl's list of turn-ons. You know what I mean? I like a, I like a big strong man to take care of me and keep me safe. What do you do when the situation gets hairy? I panic. <laughs> Full-blown panic, and then I get depressed, and I don't talk to anybody about it, so. Does that do anything for you? Take pills for it. You want one? I, uh, I take lorazepam to fly now. For those of you who don't know what lorazepam is, uh, the plane could be on fire, and you'd be like, well, these things happen. <laughs> oh, I used to be a terrible flyer, and any time that the plane would hit turbulence, you know, like a cloud or something soft. <laughs> oh my God, I gripped the seat like that was gonna help, right? And I, like if, if we smash on a mountain, everybody's on fire. Like you guys would have died, but I had a good grip. Just <laughs> a panicky dude. I'm, uh, I'm not scared of ghosts unless I gotta run upstairs from the basement with the lights off. And then it's just a game of what's gonna get my ankles. I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. okay, main floor. Ghosts are scared of the main floor. I don't know how that works, but they like attics and basements. They hate bungalows. <laughs> oh, that's why I laugh when my dog gets scared and hides under the bed. I'm like, you idiot, that's where monsters live. And then I hear a noise and I'm like, move over. <laughs> you know, my move is to keep me safe, pull the blankets up when I sleep. I've never not done it. It's never not worked. <laughs> my wife thinks I'm keeping her safe. Fuck no, blankets to the neck every night. <laughs> I know that's stupid, I'm 34, I should know better, but I do that as if a ghost is gonna come from the undead world, float through my wall, come into my bedroom and be like, oh, he pulled up the duvet. <laughs> so we live in a crazy world right now. There is so many hurricanes this year. And uh, at Lawson Heights Mall in Saskatoon, where I'm from, they have a hurricane simulator, which seems a little inappropriate right now. But it was two bucks, so I was like, well, I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> I put in my toonie and it just tossed my hair around a little bit. I don't know what those people in Katrina were bitching about, but it just got windier. It's not a big deal. I was like, wouldn't that be great if it was more realistic? Like you put in a toonie, it just smacks you in the face with a two by four and pins you up against the wall and fills with water and you're stuck in there three days. And you finally get out, you gotta ride on top of an old door and sleep in a gym for a month. You're like, fuck, this is realistic. What, what a horrible toy for the mall. I could just imagine someone from Haiti walking by and seeing them and be like, oh, that reminds me of the time I lost everything. That's awesome. <laughs> so I try and be a good person. I, uh, I was raised Roman Catholic and I, uh, I always liked that they served wine in church. I just thought that was kind of, listen, this is just gonna be a little bit easier to believe if once you get a little booze in you. So. <laughs> Like, when, it was, when I was a kid, it was easy, right? They're like, Jesus was a carpenter. And I was like, fucking right. I didn't say that, but as an adult, now I question it, right? Now I'm like, well, what kind? Like, was he an apprentice or did he have his journeyman's? Or like, 
Was he going for his ticket, you know? I'm sure he gave free estimates. He seems like that kind of a guy, right? But, like, was he working for his dad? Was it like Joseph and Sons Carpentry? Or, and what a time to be a carpenter. It seemed like most things were made of stone. Like, was he getting laid off in the winter? You know? Like, no wonder he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. He was on pogey. That's not a big deal. And were there other carpenters? Were guys losing, you know, gigs to Joseph and Sons? Oh, Jesus, underbid us again. And who, and who built that cross? You know, someone built that thing. Like, is that the competition? Like, this will fix them. <laughs> yeah. And he was up there a long time as a carpenter. I'm sure he was checking out the workmanship, right? He's like, this is untreated wood. This is gonna swell if it rains. <laughs> and is this thing even level? And who uses one nail for two feet? That's, they must have built this thing on a Friday. Thank you very much, you guys. Miles Morrison, ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for Miles.